I wasn't overweight. I was obese for many years. And I had a body mass index of 34. Uh, this limited a lot of the things I did. I was, I was short of breath. I, didn't, I couldn't do a lot of activities with my kids. I was tired all the time. I was fatigued and weak. And I was in denial. I was in denial for a very, very long time of my life. I, I didn't think there was much of a problem there. And, and I, I actually really do think that denial really means that you really do know there's a problem. You just, you just kind of don't want to make, you don't want to accept it. You don't want to know that it's there. But you do know there's a problem. I knew I was obese. But I, I didn't want to do anything about it. My food was too much of a comfort for me. And I had lots of issues in my life that were causing me to maintain my obesity. I had a very stressful job at the time. I had moved to a new city, um, and I, I had just gotten married. So all those things contributed to my cycle. I uh, plunged myself deep into a cycle of obesity. Through the years, uh, I tried many different ways of losing weight, different diets, and I lost some weight and gained it back. And it wasn't until then that I realized there has to be more to it than that. Something else is causing me to gain this weight back. That's when I realized that this is a cycle. Obesity was a cycle. It wasn't just about the overeating and the exercise. Sure, I needed to do that, and I did, but I needed to deal with the issues in my life that were causing me to be obese. Uh, the guilt in my life, which was very big at the time, uh, having failed many different diets, having failed at myself, um, having lived a life where uh, I didn't feel praised very often, um, and, and, and not being certain of myself, having a lot of uncertainty, um, insecurity in my life uh, as far as doing things. I was a perfectionist as well. I still am. And also, the, the stress in my life, the, the amount of anxiety and depression that I was having from the large amount of stress going on in my life at that time. I rarely saw my family, rarely saw my kids. So I knew I had to make a complete change. And this is a lifestyle change that people talk about. Okay? The lifestyle change, everybody says you've got to change your lifestyle, and it's true. And a lot of times what people think of the lifestyle change is eating differently, eating healthier foods and exercising. Sure, granted, all that is important. But the real lifestyle change is changing all those things that caused you to become obese in the first place, those triggers, the ones I just mentioned to you that happened to me, that happened to the majority of my patients as well. And it's funny because those triggers are different for everyone. Uh, some people's triggers are sabotage from a family member. Um, some people's uh, triggers are uh, being locked in a very unhappy marriage, um, uncertainty about your job. Um, those triggers are extremely important, and the, the, among others, there are many others. The cycle of obesity is different for different people, but these are the most common causes. When I wrote Why I Don't Lose Weight, I listed a lot of those causes in there, and I go through them in detail so that you're able to identify the ones that apply to you and you're able to do something about them.